I'm Rebecca of Pocketful of Posies. Today's video is a little bit different. I thought I would show you all of the corsets and stays I have made throughout my sewing adventures and compare and contrast them for you. So first I wanted to show you me in normal underwear. This is just a regular old underwire bra and I'm going to take my measurements and then I will show you my measurements in all of the corsets and stays. So, here we go. Alright, so I have a million measuring tapes and could only find the one that's been chewed on. <laughs> okay. First bust. We are at oh. has my bust gotten smaller? 54 inches. <laughs> All right, under bust. Of course I can't see this. So there we go. 48 and a half inches. Waist, so this is my natural waist. Or well, and I'm just gonna let it expand. 53 inches today. And hips. Oops. This shirt is slippery. And it came off. I think it was 59 inches. All right, here we have my very first pair of stays that I ever made, my first corset type thing that I ever made. And you can see there are some issues with these stays, namely they don't fit. So I have a very wide gap in the back because the pattern was too small and I had never really done any pattern adjusting at that point and I adjusted it some but I didn't adjust it enough but they do the trick they work they're perfectly fine actually so as you can see the 18th century stays has a more conical silhouette it's not it doesn't really bring you in at the waist or anything and it's a little smashy I'm not wearing a bra anymore so let's take my measurements. I'm going to start with my bust, which is now 55 inches. So gained an inch. Under bust, it's not going to be, <laughs> there's not much under bust because it's pretty straight. 54 inches. My waist. My waist is 51 and a half. So my waist actually did get taken down a little bit. And then hips, whoops. Now I saw some videos, I think Nicole Rudolph's video, she said hips don't really matter in some corsets. She didn't have a stays like this. She wore transitional stays. Um, however, if you have a large stomach, it's got to go somewhere. So once you put your stays or your corset on, it's going to either go down or up. In my case, it goes down. So we are with my hips. I'm trying to get my biggest point. We are just over 60 inches. So things did get pushed down. So let me do a little turnaround. Now you can see that my stomach has been pushed down. All right, 
my first pair of 18th century stays. Okay, my second pair of 18th century stays that I made this past year, and they fit better than the my first pair of stays. It's a different pattern. I'm going to link all of the patterns down below as well. Let's get my measurements. Starting with a bust, we are at 56 inches. Under bust, um, just about 55 inches, a little less than 55 inches. Waist, Fifty one inches and hips. Try to get the fullest part here. And again, just about at sixty inches. Again, my stomach is being pushed down. My bust is not very smashed in these. They're a little big actually in the bust. And I think, so I have, as I've said before, I have a very large stomach. So my under bust is a lot smaller than the rest of my stomach. So my chest tends to just kind of sink down to where my under bust is. Um, so what helps is to put a little little pillow underneath them to help hold them up but I'm not doing that right now all right on we go to the Regency if I can get Thor to stay in one place <laughs> here we have my Regency stays now these are just a mock-up I never went forward with them because I got so frustrated making these I did so many different things to try to make them fit right and I just kind of gave up on them they work. I've worn them with my Regency dress and they work. I've sung in these stays and it's fine. I think the biggest issue is that because my stomach is large, the busk does not sit where it should. So I don't get that Regency separation of the bust like you're supposed to have. So it just kind of sits out here. I also find that this, these stays are my least comfortable to wear. They're not that uncomfortable to stand in, but they're very uncomfortable to sit in for me because of the busk and I have a large stomach. Now the Regency stays are not super boned. I've got a little boning here. They do have the hip gussets and the bust gussets. I've got some boning in the back and here. Hercules loves measurements. He always tries to get my measuring tape. Okay, let's do bust. We are at 53 and a half inches. Under bust. Fifty-one and a half inches. Waist. Fifty-three inches. And hips. Make sure I'm getting. Now these do come lower. Try to get my biggest. Um. Just about 59 inches a little less than 59 inches they're not uncomfortable some people find Regency stays to be the most comfortable I just am not one of those people okay there you have it my Regency stays that I've never finished 
All right, here we have my Regency Lazy Stays. They have no lacing. They just wrap around the back and tie in the front. And these again were also an experiment. This is kind of a mock-up and another experiment that I never went any further with. I may still, but I haven't decided yet. But it's this, kind of the same. These don't have a wood busk in the front because I didn't have one and I didn't know if you could get a short one like this. I just put two, two industrial zip ties right there. So again, it doesn't sit right against like my chest bone here. Uh, and so just kind of that same issue with the other Regency stays, I don't get that separation. But they're very comfortable, kind of like, you know, wearing a sports bra, I guess. Uh, the, the fit is not perfect, but, you know, they'll do. I've worn them under my Regency dress, and they work just fine. Although, I can't wear it under anything super sheer, because you'd see, <laughs> you'd see this crazy pattern. But if I made them in white, they'd be great. Now to measure. say 55 and a half because it's pretty close to 55 and a half under bust fifty-three waist so I am getting pushed down some here fifty-three hips and we are right at 60 so here we go let's do all the way around some of you lovely people have asked me some questions and I really appreciate that. So I'm just gonna go through them and let's see here. All right, so Susan Fisher asked, I would like to know which era do you find to have the most natural silhouette? I am interested in wearing a corset daily to help with posture and to relieve back pain as I definitely have a plus sized bust. The most natural silhouette, I would say, as far as my corsets that don't change my measurements that much, probably my 1840s corset. The 1840s corset is not heavily boned. You could, of course, add more boning if you want more structure. Next question. From Nora Kudis. Kudis? I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Do corset slash stays smash the boobs? Are they held up? That depends on, on the corset and the stays. So I find that with, with my stays, they are, they're much more rigid. So they do tend to smash more. And then corsets, especially ones with gussets, support the bust because there's room for the bust. Mary Twiggs asked me, which era is your favorite shape? I know different costumers have different preferences and I'd like to know what you like best, whether for aesthetics or comfort. Nice question. So I would say of all of my corsets, my favorite corset is my summer corset. It's a mid-Victorian shape and I find it the most comfortable, but of course that might be because I've worn it the most. So it's been worn in the most but I find it the most comfortable for me to wear and I don't feel any restriction wearing it and that's my favorite. So I would say mid-Victorian for me personally. Others may have other answers. Thank you so much for your questions.
All right, into the Victorian era. This is my newest corset that I made. This is my 1840s corset. It's very lightly boned. It's got boning here, here. It's got boning in all of the seams. And then I added some extra boning in the center of the side piece and the side back piece. I'm thinking of adding some more boning to the front to give me a little more support. It's very, quite comfortable. I mean, I can breathe and expand in my, in my abdomen. So, um, yeah, and, and you'll notice that in all of my corsets, because I have a large stomach, it's not really pulling my stomach in. It pull, they pull my waist in a bit. But they don't pull my stomach in, so I still have that <laughs> out front. But I find that it doesn't, in most of the fashions that you wear corsets with, you've got big skirts or you've got bustles or you've got all kinds of stuff. So I don't find it to be a big issue look-wise. All right, on to measurements. Bust. We are at 56 inches under bust. Fifty one inches waist. 51 inches and hips larger than 60 inches so there's more being pushed down so I would say probably 61 inches for hips all right so here we go I'll do a turn for you This corset is also a little bit big. I did not make a mock-up and I should have. <laughs> but everything we make is learning experience, right? All right, onward. Here is my mid-Victorian summer corset. I made this out of Aida cloth, actually. It's just one layer. And then my boning channels are twill tape. It's got hip gussets as well as bust gussets and I wear this one probably the most. You can see that because of the way I am shaped, it does, there's got lots of room here, but actually that's what makes this one my most comfortable corset because I can sit down and I have room for my stomach. So that's all good for me. This one, when I made it, I think, it's possible I put the lacing, the close together lacing holes in the wrong place because it does tend to cinch me a little bit more closer to my under bust rather than down here. But I actually find that quite comfortable. Let's do some measurements. The Hercules trying to get my <laughs> we are at 54 and a half inches <laughs> all right under bust this uh, Aida fabric is <laughs> is, is uh, slippy <laughs> Wants, it doesn't want to stay where I want it to stay. Make sure that's actually my under bust and it's not falling down. It is falling down. Ah! 49 and a half inches. And then my waist. Favorite corset, didn't realize it would be so difficult to measure. It 
50 inches. And hips. And again, we are larger than 60 inches. I'd say about six, 61 inches. Okay. Hey, Loki. Have you been there the whole time? You're just going to be the star. You're the star. Let's do a little turn around. This one definitely gives me the curviest silhouette, I would say. And I can lace this one the tightest. And probably because I've worn it the most. My final corset, my Edwardian corset. This is the S-Bend corset. So I don't, this, this pattern isn't made for the hip padding to go underneath. So I don't have the room in the hips to do that, but I just wear a hip pad over it to help give that more hourglassy pigeon breasted look. <laughs> and I wear, with this one, I also wear bust improver underneath my um, corset cover so it really does give that Edwardian Gibson girl silhouette but here it is starting with my bust we are at 55 and a half inches under bust Fifty two and a half inches waist forty nine inches. I wasn't expecting that. Huh. And then hips and again we are larger than sixty inches. I would say yep, yeah, sixty one. Again, do a quick turn around. I laced myself into this one, so I don't know how straight the laces are, but. <laughs> All right, there we go. All of my corsets and how my body changes in each one. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful and or informative and I hope that it helped answer some questions that you might have about corsets and plus sized bodies. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload you can hit that little bell icon. Please stay tuned for next week's video. It will be the final video in my 1840s project, my Miss Piggy in Muppet Christmas Carol dress. I'm very excited to share that with all of you. So please stay tuned and I will see you again on our next sewing adventure. Bye. And I hope I answered some of the questions you might have about corsets and wearing them in a plus size body. Wearing them on a plus size body? With a plus size body.